So we're looking at creating a very warm and golden image that works very well on travel photos. It's very popular at the moment and we've got a photo here from Tessa MB. Her Instagram will be in the description so go check, it, check that out. A lot of travel, a lot of fashion, a lot of warm vibes there. And this is our image we're working with and at the moment it's looking the exact opposite. It's very cold, underexposed and blue. So let's go about it. And the first thing I'm going to do is just expose it a bit. And I'm really going to warm it up. I'm just going to pull back on the tint. And onto contrast. I'm going to put in a lot of contrast. Highlights, really bring up the shadows, bring down those blacks. And bring down those whites. Just gonna drop the exposure. And moving on, I'm gonna really drop the saturation. And then I'm gonna up the midtones as vibrance affects the midtones. Now onto the curves. And I'm going to leave it as that. And as you can see, I brought down the whites a lot as you get this very flat looking sky. And when you do that, it actually holds a lot of color in it as well. So you get a nice golden sky with it. And onto HSL. So I'm going to bring down red. Before I do this, I'm actually going to come down here and shift this is this is going to really affect how we adjust our hsl sliders now coming back up Going to shift the oranges yellows all the way to orange we always want to warm up the greens because we're going for a very warm looking tropical feeling most of the time and the blues shift to a nice light blue Drop most of these colors. Really drop the greens. There's no greens in this image, but if there were, we would want to drop them by a lot. Because we hope to apply this to other images. Drop the luminance. Luminance deepens colors or brightens colors. So most of the time you're going to want to deepen the skin tones. And don't pay too much attention to the skin tone in this image because he naturally has a really dark skin tone anyways. But as I said, I want to apply this to other images. So I'm going to edit it as if I am putting it on other images. I'm going to brighten up greens. And 
the split turning is really going to help us here so I'm going to put quite a bit in the highlights a little bit in the highlights actually and a lot in the shadows and keep coming down sharpening we're looking a little muggy at the moment kind of dark bring the masking up come all the way down I'm gonna put a, vign a slight vignette on it And there's a few limitations with our image so this was taken in a nice bright street and we're actually shaded by a building in this one so our subjects very dark there's not a lot of light hitting objects so we're gonna have to brighten up the center of our image later bring around this up And grain. This image has a lot of grain. If you have, if you can't see, quite large grain. And roughness. All right, and we have done our calibration. So, the center of our image is very dark. So what we're going to do is grab a filter. So we've got our colors right, it's just, it just isn't exposed right. And it's not really something we could fix with these either, with the exposure tabs. So we're gonna come in with a radial filter. Just gonna expose it a bit. So this is very similar to the do travel grade as well. And I'm just gonna get rid of the exposure we did down there. bring up the shadows and as you see we've brightened up the center of our image but the whites are overexposed so got to bring them down and I'm going to lift the black slightly And I'm going to feather it right out. And I have one more I want to do. I just want to get some detail back there. I don't, I don't really think it's because our whites are too bright, really. It's that we the dynamic range was really tough on this shot. So it requires some adjusting. So I'm just going to slightly bring down the exposure. And when you mess with exposure, you generally want to bring up contrast. And then I'm just going to leave it like that and I think we got pretty close might want to 
bring down the saturation slightly. And yeah. Might bring saturation down some more. And before and after. So we really created a completely different image. It wasn't even in a very brightly lit area. But now it's very warm and vibrant. So I'm going to save this one. Gold 5 because I've got so many gold uh, LUTs. And I'm going to click off Vignetting and Create. So if I apply this to some sort of travel setting, we should get some of those travel vibes. So apply. And I'm just going to bring up the highlights. Maybe bring down the exposure. And you straight away get something that looks a lot like Do You Travel or a lot like Tessa's Instagram. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. Check out my preset store if you guys are interested in getting a whole lot like these. And yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure you go give her a follow as well. Links in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next one.